In downtown St. Louis, MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway getting the nod on the mound Kyle Gibson but Chris he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound well I'll say this every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark in front of their fans in front of the city and you know this guy no different he wants to be more effective here so you know you look at the numbers they haven't been great at home I'm sure he wants to turn that around and we'll see if he's able to start that in this nope. one foul ball. on the ground right side and that's just foul Dude, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Runner on at first with one gone. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. In there for strike one. Hard hit left side. Arenado toss the second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Nope. Back here at Bush Stadium. Today's starting pitcher, John Means. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And here it comes. That one fouled off. The 0-2. Hard ground ball, base down. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Batting second. Lars Newball. Next up for the Cardinals. Run around the move. This one popped up. Henderson on his way over. Can't reach this one. It gets down. They get the force. A great play deep in the hole. Well, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like you just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Line drive. Brings it in. And there's two away. Here's Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A two-run shot and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, mood. Aggressive, and it paid off. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And first offering is fouled off. Two out spaces empty. No question about this one. It's out of here. They go back to back. It's
That's his sixth home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 3 nothing, and that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up the ballpark. So two away with nobody on. This is Dylan Carlson. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Batting seven. Brendan Donovan getting ready to hit. Donovan. On the corner for a strike. It's 0-1. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one back. Get out of town. He circles the bases. Their third home run of the inning. And they tack on to their lead. It's 5 zip. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. And everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension. And drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Two outs, nobody on. Now up for St. Louis, Pedro Pajes. Swing and a pop-up. Drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And that's the third out. And welcome back to the ballpark. Anthony Santander at the plate. Anthony Santander. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. He swings and fouls one off. Gibson measures six feet, six inches. He features a sinker, oh, a cutter, right. a slurb, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your Aye. standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Pajes pulls it down, and there's two gone. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Kowser. Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, oh, one. the count. Ripped, but it curls foul. The Cardinals leading by five here at the top of the second. This to center field. Siani under this one. Hauls it in to end the inning. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. We head to the bottom of the second. Now batting Michael Siani. Swing and a ball popped up. Urias settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting. Not shortstop. Mason. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the shortstop, Mason Wynn. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. That one ripped. Did one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. Brandon Hyde out of the dugout now. And he's ready to make a move to the bullpen. That's now on the bump, number 49. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers in their numbers, but... Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. To the warning track, makes the catch. Runner tags at second. Try to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. 
Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate, not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one back there, going gone. He hammers one out to right. It's seven nothing. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees. And he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's already homered in this game. Swung on, belted. Kaiser reaching back towards the wall. And caught on the warning track. Goldie goes yard for the cards. It's now 7-0. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Orioles, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. 1-0. The Orioles with a lot of ground to make up. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. And the count even at one. And that one is lifted in the air. Newt Bar moves under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. James McCann in now. First pitch, just misses. Ball one, no strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. I got one ball, one play. Righty to the plate. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here in St. Louis as we go to the last of the third. And now the first baseman, Alec Burleson. On the ground right side, Westberg tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now So digging in, Dylan Carlson singled and scored his first time. Swing and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Waste no time there. Just a solid swing now right there. Back. Caught it Second out front and ripped it into the right outfield there. for the base hit. Those always now feel great. There. So up next, Brendan Donovan. He's already homered here in this one. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Way back there. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. One down, and here's the catcher, Pedro Pajes. That one ripped right center field. Santander racing after it. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double as they score a pair on the play. These are the best kind of automatic doubles for an offense. Everyone scores on the play. New pitcher now, Kyle Bradish. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And up next for St. Louis, Michael Ciani. And first offering is fouled off. That one is absolutely belted. And that should be extra bases. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 10-0. And that's a double. 
Everything came together for him. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Boog, and you can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. Win. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Man at second. Out towards left center. Kowser sizing this one up. Looks it away for the out. Out number two. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. The right fielder. Number so a man four. aboard and stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newball. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Danny Coulomb getting ready to go. Webb, the right-hander, also getting loose. Two outs. To the right side. And it's through for a hit. Around third. The throw in. He's safe. He beat it. He's safe. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Man at second here with two away. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. One for two. First oh, pitch outside. misses. Four runs already in the frame here in the last half of the third. Out to short, Henderson. Slings to first, inning over. Although plenty of damage done. They get... You know, the right hater back to work. Swings and misses. Going one. Oh, one's the count. Way out front for strike no two. Ball, two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball still 0-2. The pitch. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's Adley Rutschman. And that one sliced foul. The why to kick the pitch. That one's in there, and it's nothing in two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And he deals. Ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. The Orioles with a lot of ground to make up. Top half of inning number four. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Burleson makes the play. Two away. Two outs. Base is empty. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. In the air, out towards right center. Newt Barr moves under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Bottom of the fourth. Leading now up the Cardinals, Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. Nolan. And a pitch. That's towards center. Sizes this one up. And there's one down. Alec Burleson, the next to hit. Alec Burleson. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One out, base is empty. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. 
Kowser settles underneath it. They got it for out number two. Yeah. The left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Dylan Carlson. Carlson. And that one hammered Kowser, giving chase. Dives and makes the catch. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the team fired up in the dugout. Back here in St. Louis, ready now for the fifth inning. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. Foul ball there. You know, these Orioles definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. They're swinging at more than 70% of the first pitches they've seen today, and it's just not working out for them. Here's the 0-2. Bounce to the right, Donovan. Whips it to first. One away here in the fifth. So those first pitch numbers tell me they should try to find a way to slow this game down a bit. Things have been moving just too quickly for him at times. Westberg takes a ball as he stands in for the second yep, time. One and Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. That's, That's down ball. and in. And That's another ball. ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two up, two down. So it's their last chance in this one. And next for the Orioles, Colton Kowser. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And a good eye there. Well struck right field. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much up just a textbook one. double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. And now it's Austin Hayes. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Pitch Whoa. misses. Ball one. Kowser stands at second with two gone. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. That one missing inside. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. This could end it. Headed down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals take this one in a blowout. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 11-0 your final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shaw.